Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Alright, um, this one is by Los Angeles Ale Works. And it's called Aquanaut. It's a juicy double India Pale Ale. Coming in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. I've never seen this before, never heard of it before, nothing. And I got this at Total Wine and More for uh, 20 bucks for 4 pints. And this is what the can looks like. I do like their beers. I've had them before, but not this one. Never seen this one before. Um, yeah. Interesting can. Yeah, this puppy uh, has a um, 61421. So, um, yeah, it's about, you know, five weeks old. <laughs> yep. It says, it says Southern Ocean 61421. Okay. So, yeah, five weeks old or so. It's fresh. Uh, let's see. Seven hops. It says Norwegian yeast. It says Norwegian yeast, Sabro, and Idaho seven hops. Flood the senses with. Okay, we shall see. They're from Hawthorne, California. And uh, yeah, that's all the literature there. Let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. Pretty pricey stuff, man. Five bucks a pint. Hope it's good. Oh, it looks good. Very nice looking. All right, so we have a monster, frothy, creamy, silky head. Pretty bouncy there. It looks pretty tight, compact. Um, we have a pretty hazy um, light orange color. Oh, where is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yep, light orange hazy action. Looks like a juice bomb. Very nice. Alright, let's get some more in there. A nice donut on top. Damn, that is beautiful. Look at that. This looks good. This looks like it's worth five bucks a pint. Aquadot. Yeah. Right. Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Oh, yeah. Citrusy, piney, floral. Big citrusy, like tropical nuts. Oranges, tangerines, mango. All kinds of tr citrusy, tropical hop notes. I mean, it's it smells like it's all in there. Whatever you, you could imagine is tropical, it's in there. Yeah, all of the above, man. Tr check off all the boxes. But mainly uh, oranges, tangerines, uh, I'd say like guava, mango. Some pine coming through and floralness. Mm, mm, mm. Smells good. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Mm. Oh man. That's good. That's super tasty.
Damn. Got some earthy kind of hops coming through also in the sip. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Papaya. Man. Wet green hop like you just pricked a hop off the, the vine and just squeeze the juice into the into the beer it's got that kind of wet hop danky funkiness mmm that is awesome big guava note big time um, man pineapples you name it it's in there Earthy, earthy hops coming through pretty good. Medium mouthfeel. Mmm. Super tasty. Super tasty. Um, very tropical. Citrusy. A nice, uh, nice hop profile for sure. Really good malt backbones. Leaving some good lacing on the glass there. And excellent head retention. An excellent color. I mean, really nice beer. Really nice. Let's uh, bump this up. See if that changes anything. Yeah. You get the gist, right? Um, I don't know what else to say, but this is awesome. No booziness, no raw alcohol notes. Very, very well put together beer. Yeah, it's earthy and tropical. Some pine, floral. Tankness. Well worth five bucks a pint for sure. And that's over a month old and now five weeks old. Nice head retention, do that. Mm. So we'll sip on it for a little bit and be right back, okay? Alright, we're back. Been sipping on it for a few here. Super awesome tasting. Uh, super complex um, really awesome hop profile and it's not like super bitter or nothing it's all flavor hops excuse me excellent malt backbone to it also I'm just loving this beer Aquanaut juicy double India Pella it's I would say it's a New England style personally Man, it doesn't hit like an eight and a half percenter. It um, goes down super smooth. Spear gets you in trouble. Look at that. Would you look at that? Damn. It's got that. It's just, uh, it's got its own little thing going on too though. I mean, I haven't had one quite like this. Uh, definitely has a unique taste to it. I would say the unique taste is on the earth, the earthy kind of hop side. Really nice. We'll swill it one more time. We'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah. That's pretty much what we got on this puppy. So um, on a scale of one to five stars, uh, two and a half B and C average. It almost ha it almost has like the lactose kind of uh, gig. It seems like they might have brewed this with lactose. So um, I'm not a huge fan of that because uh, it kind of gives it almost like a saltiness. So with that said, I'm going to give it a 4.8. It's a super awesome beer, but if it didn't have that kind of lactose side to it, I would have to give it five stars. Yeah, so 4.8 it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. Yeah, I think they're ruining it with lactose. Not a lot, though, but enough. for I could pick it up, I think. But, yeah, 4.8. So, um, you know, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, if you see this, uh, definitely grab it. If you can get it fresh, uh, hit the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, we'll catch you all later, okay? See ya. Cheers.